Hello everyone, welcome to Shri Voyage. Today we're going to be going over a much requested popular eye look, and that is the doe eye versus the siren eye. So let's go ahead and jump in to this look. So what is a doe makeup eye look? It's meant to create a wide open eye. Think of something innocent, hence doe. And how we go about doing that is create a lot of lashes all the way across. We're going to highlight the inner corner of the eye and use a light color in the lower lash line or the water line, usually in a nude or a taupe or a white color. And the reason we do that is we're trying to stretch open the eye as big and as full as possible to create a wide awake, round shaped eye. Now, what is a siren eye? A siren eye is a seductive eye. It's a little more vampy, it could be even edgy. And the goal here is to create a sharp line on the outer corner of the eye as well as the inner corner. You're trying to really elongate the shape of the eye at an angle. So the goal here is to create a lot of lashes moving at an angle and really feathering out towards the edges. And then you're gonna take either a pencil, an eyeshadow or liquid liner, and you're going to place the eyeliner a little above where you normally would to really exaggerate that point here to here. If you're feeling a little more dramatic, you can add a little bit underneath in a softer color. And for the eyelid area, you're gonna go ahead and use something that's a little more subtle. Think earth tones, just stick within your tone range. All right, let's go. First, you're gonna start with your concealer. I'm using the Maybelline 30 Hour Wear, adding a little to my brush, and we're going to place that all over the lid. Use very little and share it out, blending from the lash line to the brow. Next, taking the Gucci powder, I'm going to apply this from the lash line all the way up to the brow bone. Using the ABH palette in Nouveau, I'm taking the dark chocolate color and I'm placing this on the outer edge. We wanna really get that angle as high up as possible and then bring it towards the center. The second part of this is making sure that we hit the inner corner as well. Grabbing now my e.l.f. liquid liner, I'm gonna go ahead and trace over that shadow. Get a nice sharp point and bring it inward. Remember this would be more exaggerated than you're used to. Go ahead and hit that inner corner once again, and you wanna make sure you have a nice fluid line from point to point. Grabbing now my falsies and my duo glue, I am placing these individual lashes on the outer corner at an angle. We're not following the natural lash line here. With our Art Everyday Cup filled with water, wet the brush, and we're gonna go ahead and grab that rose bronze color and put that on the lower lid and on the inner corner. Grabbing the matte cream color, we're going to put that on the inner corner to brighten. And then we're gonna go ahead and put that all over the brow bone. And then we're gonna sharpen that wing. Using the Dusty Rose Matte Color, we're gonna go ahead and go on the brow ridge and by the inner corner of the eye. It's really about creating a dramatic look here to intensify that eye shape we've created. Using my Victoria Beckham Bronzer number two, I'm going to intensify the look of the eye by not creating something round, but something sculpted and lifted. We're gonna to head to the doe eye now. Grabbing the matte cream color, I'm gonna go ahead and place this all over the lid from lash to brow, and even on the outer edge to really pop that eye open. Using the Dior Liquid Liner in black, I'm going to put this on the lash line, tight lining it, and go all the way to the inner corner. Grabbing a couple of falsies in the bars, I'm going to add my duo glue, and I wanna put the longest lash in the center, very important. You want the middle of the eye to look the biggest. Grabbing the Gucci, I'm gonna go ahead and use the color Celeste. You can use cream or white. I'm putting that on the waterline. Grabbing my NARS Climax Mascara, I'm going to intensify this look by darkening and lengthening the center of the lashes. Once again, very important. Using the same application technique, I'm doing that on the lower lashes. As you can see, this eye is more open compared to the siren eye that's more angled. Grabbing more water here, I'm going to take my new Guerlain Imperial Moon Eyeshadow, mix the two colors, put this on the inner corner of the eye and on the center of the lid, a little on the outer corner with whatever's left on my brush. And now using my Sephora pencil in the color mauve, I'm going to trace my lips right on the edge and then I'm going to use the new Sephora creamy nude color with a touch of peach and put that on the center. So create a nice full pout, putting a little on the cheeks now to unify the color story here. And then adding the new Maybelline gloss all over my lips. Adding gloss adds a nice fullness to your pout. And here we have the final look, the siren eye and the doe eye.
Which one do you like? A quick makeup artist tip for you all. For those of you that are wondering, what would be better for me if I want to create a more wide awake, youthful look? Head in this direction. A more sexy, sultry, date night, or just everyday edgy eye, you're going to head this way. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and use those affiliate links if you want to support Shri Voyage. All right, everyone, I leave you here. Thank you greatly for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now, everyone.